Hey, welcome to Mahalo Daily. I'm Lon Harris, and we're here at RoboDynamics of Santa Monica. You know, I, th I thought Leah was going to come to this episode. I guess she got hung up at the office or something. Sorry about that. I, I got a little held up at the office. Oh, great. You made it. Well, as long as you're here, I guess it works. Yeah. Um, what, what's the show about today? Uh, it's funny you should ask, because it's about telepresence uh, robots. So I guess this, uh, awesome. this works out pretty conveniently. Yeah. I can't believe Jason bought you one of those. Well, you know, it was part of my contract deal. Ah, oh, jeez. I need a new manager. Ever wanted to be in two places at once, but fear the bioethical implications of having yourself cloned? Well, your dream may be closer than you think. Companies developing telepresence technologies, including communication robots, may soon be able to simulate the experience of sitting in your home or office and interacting in real time with friends or colleagues all around the world. We went to Santa Monica's RoboDynamics to take a look at some telepresence robots and get an idea for what the future may have in store for those who'd like to conduct business meetings from their bedrooms. So I'm here with Fred Nagohar. He's the CEO of RoboDynamics. So tell me, how did this all get started? What made you interested in uh, working on telepresence? Well, it started with watching Star Wars way too many times. Right. That's how it all started. I think we can all sympathize. <laughs> and really the genesis of it for me was, you know, once I saw the first Mars rover, you know, I thought right. that was just way too cool. And I thought there would be other applications down here on Earth for something like that. So I could walk down a hallway and talk to someone like I'm in an Aaron Sorkin show, but I can't, like, grab him by the collar and slap him around. Basically. Exactly. Exactly. So imagine a couple of your colleagues are standing by the water cooler and they're talking about, you know, the scope of the project that just got changed. Mm -hmm. and they're talking about how we should let Lon know that, you know, we're going to change this little thing. Right. But instead, Lon can actually be participating in that water cooler conversation remotely. Uh, where video conferencing fails is that it has to be pre-planned. So right. I have to send you a bunch of emails and we have to agree on a time. And then, at, and then even then, we're stuck to a specific place, which is the conference room with the with a conferencing machine, whereas with right. this, you just log in from your you know, hotel room in China, talk to the people on the ground and fix the problem as if you're there. That's the key, as if you're there. And uh, the robot is called Tyler. What does, that, what does that stand for? So it's telepresence, internet connected, low cost robot. To pay the rent, we leverage some of the te technology to do some uh, very interesting things. So for example, we created a, uh, a Bluetooth dongle for the Roomba vacuum cleaner. Suppose you left your home in the morning and forgot to turn on your Roomba. Now you can get on the internet, send your robot an email, and your Roomba would start cleaning your house. This is another project we worked on uh, with a termite company, uh, and it was designed to go into crawl spaces and inspect crawl spaces for termite and other uh, pests. Uh, this guy is OptiGroover, and uh, the idea is your girlfriend goes away and she misses you and she sends you an email and it starts to blink red. Uh, and the next extension of that, of course, is Teddy, uh, which is a similar device, so the eyes would light up and show different kinds of emotions as well as the heart. And you can also send information back because the ears have push buttons in them, so you can actually send data back to whoever sent you uh, uh, the emotion or information. Now let's go over to our very own Leah D'Amelio, manning the robot's controls, to get a feel for how the whole thing works. So here's what things are like over on this end. Basically, you use a PC and the Tyler Command Center, and you have all your controls right here. Right, This is giving us the image, and uh, see if anybody can guess who this might be. That's right, our very own Lon Harris. And to move forward, you just drag this here on the drive control. And then, hello, to curve, you can follow in this way. There's a screen and a camera and a microphone and speakers on the robot. So Lon can hear and see everything and then vice versa, I can hear and see what he's doing as well. It's kind of like playing a video game where you have like the joint stick and you're really like you know, you can change the camera perspective and which direction, and, and this lets you know if you bump into anything. Lon, do something funny for all the viewers at home. And there it is, from the Tyler Command Center. So that's it for us here at RoboDynamics. What do you think, Leah? This is awesome. I can't wait to get one of these at Mahalo so it can host for me. We'll call it Host. Yeah, robo-hosting. I love it. That's definitely the future. We're going to get on top of it. So uh, I'm Lon Harris for the Leah D'Amelio bot. We'll see you next time on Mahalo Daily. <laughs>